Alright, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you some quick tips to get better performance and sound from FL Studio. Um, a lot of people will suffer from pops and clicks in your audio. These are called underruns, which is caused when you're just using a bit too much CPU on your computer. And FL Studio can't handle it. Um, there's a few simple things to improve this, which I've found out from using it and which are recommended by ImageLine. So first of all, if we just go to options and audio settings, you can also just press the F10 key to get to this. It'll bring up the, uh, the settings page for FL Studio Audio. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that this primary sound driver is on ASIO for all. If it's not there, I'll put a download link under this video so you'll be able to get it. All that ASIO is is another sound driver which should lower the latencies while using less CPU compared to your direct drivers. And once you've put ASIO on, if you go over to show ASIO panel, just have a click on there, this will bring up your buffer. Now to improve your audio settings, like if you're hearing a lot of pops and clicks, you're just going to want to adjust this and make it longer. So just keep adjusting it until you stop hearing the pops and clicks. But one of the problems with this is a longer buffer time will mean that any MIDI devices you've got installed will take longer to react. So Pressing a key on your MIDI keyboard will take longer for you to hear the sound coming out of your speakers. What the buffer actually does is store the audio data which is waiting to be sent to the sound card. So as it stores it, it will allow FL Studio to control it, which should reduce your CPU and stop your pops and clicks happening. Ideally, you want to set your buffer length to around 10 milliseconds, which on here is 444 samples. But as I say, you just want to keep adjusting it until you stop hearing pops and clicks or until it stops slowing down. Um, a few more things recommended by FL are to set your priority to highest, turn on your multi-threaded generator processing and mixer processing and smart disable. Make sure that your sample rate is set below 48,000 and that your interpolation is on a linear. Now all of this should improve your sound quality. Another external way to do this is to either get more RAM or to buy a new sound card. But obviously these things are expensive. Another thing you want to go to make sure is that your power plan on your laptop or PC is set to the right setting. You don't want to set on something which is going to be zapping the CPU from your computer. So if I just open mine up here, I've got it on high performance, which as I say is fair performance, but may use more energy. This shouldn't matter if you've got your laptop, which is plugged into the wall or your PC. So just ensure that that is set to the right thing. And that's about it for this tutorial. There should be more coming on the way. If you've got any questions, just get in touch. Don't forget to check out the website, which is www.goldshowrecords.com. And rate, subscribe. And thanks for listening.